it's your girl, Miss Patricia Vargas, a.k.a. That Barbie Chick with Total Tejas TV. I'm here with Latin Grammy nominated South Texas homie. Performing live here at El Social Entertainment Venue located in Houston, Texas. What's up, guys? How you, how you doing? Thanks for having us. Uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for being out here with yeah, us. Yeah, tell us your names and a little bit about yourself. My name's uh, Anthony Trevino, accordion player, and I, I do backup vocals. I'm Andrew Rodriguez, and I'm the vocalist of the band. All right, so I heard that you're taking Conjunto to the next level. What exactly does that mean? Uh, well, we're doing our damage, that's for sure. You know, it's just uh, more involvement with the crowd, uh, really just uh, amping the people up, trying to give more of a concert-style show instead of just kind of the traditional, you know, just, I don't know, just traditional thing. You know, we're just trying to, to step it up and just bring a little more interaction. I'm loving it. I, I just watched y'all's first set. It was awesome, guys. Please put your hands together. Let's go, let's go. guys can you tell us a little history about the South Texas homies well yeah I mean uh, most of us in the group we were um, former hometown uh, members and uh, once you know there were some issues with management I ended up getting uh, let go uh, you know this is this whole band is kind of Bobby Martinez's brainchild right so may you rest in peace yes yes may you rest in peace um, you know, so we were kind of iffy if we were going to do it, you know, talking with Lewis and we just went back and forth, you know, and then finally we were just like, you know, what, let's just go for it. So, you know, we grabbed the bull by the horns and the rest is history. You know, it's it's so crazy how everything has worked out. Andrew had his band, Grupo Ambicion, you know, for the longest time. And uh, back before I even got with Hometown, I was I had a group in Victo and this guy, he would just stay in contact with me all the time. And he would randomly call me and just start singing. Yeah. And, <laughs> you, you know the way I looked. The way I looked at it, you know, a friend of mine, you know, made it to the big leagues, right? Right. He's playing with, you know, hometown. So I thought, you know, man, this guy, you know, I know him, and it's and he's famous now, and yeah. so I thought it was cool. So yeah, yeah, I would call him, and uh, he would go hello, and I would go volver. Hey, we just. Wait, hey, you need to call and, me like that. Yeah, yeah. And mind you, this was over a period of about. Oh, 10 man. years yeah. oh, wow. so the phone calls were never like regular phone calls like hey what's going on no, those yeah yeah just, yeah, out, just of, out of the blue he yeah. would call so that's that's how we would stay in touch yeah so once we started putting the band together and we were thinking about a vocalist he was the first one i thought first of one. that's how you do it and <laughs> you know and he was like i'm not a singer i was like dude you got it i can hear it you know it yeah. sounds it sounds great i was like i know you can do it and so he ended up coming down from Dallas all the way to the valley, yeah. and uh, we got together there in the living room of the house, and we just jammed a, a few songs, and and now we're here. So wow. it's it's Thank been a crazy ride. Right. So yeah, this is my first time actually singing. You know, oh, wow. I, so I was never a vocalist or anything. Can't tell. Yeah, awesome. no. you're very you. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, very <laughs> you awesome. Thank yes. you guys. Yes. Thank you for All right, guys, once y'all got together, what was your next move that you saw uh, happening for the South Texas homies? It, it was recording. 
uh, to put out some music. You know, we, we ended up recording with uh, Lorenzo Panda uh, there in Corpus, Papo. you know, Papo. Everybody knows Papo. Uh, we, we recorded there. We were in the studio for, shoot, I don't know, the first album probably took us about six months or yeah, something like that. It took us a little while. And because we're all from different places. Right. You know, Anthony's from the Valley. I'm from Dallas. Uh, we had two guys that are our drummer and our, our bass player at the time was uh, they're from Corpus. And then Louis, the bass player, he's from Houston. Right. So every time we would get together to begin with, it's like a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, and our first single, uh, Te, vas, Te Vas, I had gotten it from Ricky Munoz. Uh, he was on, I think, Instagram or something. And he had a bottle and he was just singing a bunch of songs. And he did that song. And I was like, that's a great song. I was like, I bet we can do it. Do it our way. So we did it, uh, we released it, and it was just, from there, everything just took off. Yeah. Doing it your way, absolutely, South Texas homie style. Yeah, yeah, it, it, was, it was awesome. And uh, just the way everything came together in the studio was, I don't know, it was almost like magic, really. Lightning in a bottle. Lightning in a bottle, <laughs> woo! How does it feel to be nominated for a Latin Grammy? Oh my goodness. It was a huge, like, kick in the chest, kind of. Um, it was just, whenever they announced it, it was just like, I don't know if I could say it, but I, it was kind of like a, a holy shit moment. You know, we were just, oh my God, you know, it, it's crazy how we went from recording a single, releasing a single, and then we see our name on this ballot with like uh, Jay Perez, La Mafia, uh, signal uh, it, it was crazy so um, but man it was just it's I'm still blown away by it to be honest with you it, it's something that it, it really doesn't happen and then for us out of the gate that we get that nomination it was just it was a blessing like you said earlier magic <laughs> So tell me a little history about yourself and how you got involved with South Texas Homies. Uh, but believe it or not, me and Anthony go way back in the hometown boy era. And that's how that's how we got started. And of course, a good friend of mine, Bobby Martinez, he was the one that asked us to pursue to, to follow our own road. And, and that's how we started. And, you know, that's we're here now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was at uh, these guys need, needed help. And I started off uh, helping them out. And when I started helping them out, they were looking for a bass player, so I decided, you know, to, to, to join the family. And, and I, you found a home? Yes, I did. I found a home. <laughs> we lost and found. You like it here? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's why I'm still here. It's it was good. a blessing to find Alex. forward to upcoming with the South Texas homies? Well, I know Andrew's been doing a lot of songwriting. He has like a tablet, probably about, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. About that thing yeah, or so. Yeah. So, you know, we're just trying to gather more material uh, to start recording again. And, uh, you know, and like I said, Andrew has some original stuff he's working on, and then I have a few songs in the can. So hopefully we'll be able to put out another album before the year ends. That would be awesome. Can't wait for it. <laughs> Make sure you watch every Saturday at 2 p.m. And don't forget, we are live streaming. And thank you for keeping Tejano and Conjunto Music alive. Thank you, South Texas. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much.